This is Coogan Cassius Rifle Number. We're at Grey Civic Hall here in Essex with me. It's not a post fight interview because technically the fight <laughs> wasn't had, but with me I've got Andreas Evangelo, who's due to fight Mitch Mitchell tonight. Uh, just explain the situation for obviously people that won't know what Just happened. very quickly, there was an oil spill on the M11 and he'd been tra travelling for eight hours and he just missed the deadline. So I was prepared to fight, I'm sure he was prepared to fight, but it just never happened. It's one of them things, I mean, I got here about half seven and I think they knew about the situation, about what was going on on the M11. Yeah. So you knew, so it must have been a bit weird for you because you're sitting here and you yeah. don't know whether you're going to fight or not. So I was up and down, up and yeah. down and emotionally when you're going to fight, it's like, oh, you're on and like, oh, let's go. And then oh, you might not be and then like, you bring yourself down again and up, down. So maybe in the long run, I'm glad I didn't. Maybe I wouldn't have been mentally sharp, I don't know. So I think at one point there, you thought you was going to fight there because I see you sort I just of started getting ready. Up. Yeah, they said 15 minutes away and... Um, He'd, I've, I've had a back a feeling in the back of my head he wasn't going to show, but it wasn't his fault, and I can't blame him. Mm, and he'd been sat in the car for a and several, that as well. Several I would hours. have had the advantage. Yeah. But um, we'll hopefully reschedule and fight another night, and um, hopefully all the people that bought tickets for my fight can just basically hold their tickets and come back to that one. I see a load of your fans out there sort of waiting and frustrated. Yeah, didn't know I can that. They just made an announcement about ten minutes ago, so mm. listen, they, they were always going to wait here, even if it's a one in the morning. I'm sure yeah, they would have stayed uh -huh. here, but. You know, it is what it is, and you know, I'm sure you can reschedule it or look. Yeah, I just feel bad because I really, really feel bad. I feel like I've let them down as well, mm. and I've never felt this feeling before because it's never happened. Um, but this is a show business, as my coach Don would say, and um, things change. Yeah. All right, well, listen, Andreas, you get your cell phone, get yourself some <laughs> I'll bed, get myself rested. Get yourself <laughs> rested. Uh, like I said, it's one of them things, but you know. I still feel the endorphins that I've had a fight just now. Yeah. So I feel like the weights off my shoulders because when you're going to fight it's like all right get ready get ready and now it's not happening but i just don't feel the satisfaction of the training camp being put to use but there's there's a reason for it all right i appreciate your time as well no problem thank uh, you. this is Kevin cassius andreas evangelo for iphone london thank you very much thank you very much nice one.